Back at you boys. I got a quick tip for you. Before going back with the starter, I always tell my guys to test the starter, bench test it, okay? And I'm gonna show you, it's really easy. If you have a jump box like here, attach the red lead to the positive terminal post on the, on the starter, and the negative lead anywhere on the starter, okay? And then get a power probe. There is a ways of doing it without it, but I prefer a power probe. Makes it a lot easier. So we're, we're connected at the positive post, red cable, negative cable, on the actual starter. Turn on jump box. Find the S terminal pin right here. And then you're gonna apply power and then you're gonna watch it actually, the starter should jump out and engage and then spin. If it doesn't jump out, you give a bad starter. If it clicks, you have a bad starter. Uh, we do this because we had a job one time, it was like seven hours of labor. We put a starter in and it did not work. So we had to redo the job. So ever since then, we've done this test. So here we go. See how it's jumped out engaging the spinning? That's very important. If it does not jump out, that starter's bad. It's gonna inject out. It's a good starter, so we're gonna have no issues going back. Just a quick, simple test to verify before installing the starter, it will work because you will have cases where it doesn't happen often, but you're gonna put a starter on, even though it's new, which these are all manufactured now. This one is from USA, it's a Denso. It's a high quality starter, that's what we use around here. But they're electrical and they will fail. You'll get one that fails. So quick little test, hope it helps, because if you're gonna do it, you do it right. See ya.